Welcome everyone. So let's go ahead and define what do we mean by increasing, decreasing intervals. So here's a formal definition. So if we have say two x values we're comparing, if x1 is less than x2, then f of x1 is less than f of x2. Well, what do we mean by that? So what we're saying is that if we have two points, let's say x1 is here, which is less than, I meant to write x2. If this is uh, happening, then their function values are also uh, increasing. So for example, let's say this is my f of x1 and f of x2 is greater. So f of x1 is less than f of x2, so maybe somewhere up here. So you start to go up. So that's what we mean by increasing. So if this happens, then on that interval i, f is increasing. And similarly, we can define decreasing in a similar way. We can say if f of x1 is less than, sorry, if x1 is less than x2, then the function value f of x1 is greater than f of x2. In that case, we can think of a picture that looks like this. So say x1 is here and x2 is here. So x1 is less than x2, but f of x1 is greater than f of x2. So f of x1 is greater. So let's say it's up here and then f of x2 is less than that. So somewhere here. So something like this, we can consider decreasing. So in this case, f is decreasing. So really what we're looking at is whenever you're increasing the x values, either your function values or the y values are great, getting greater and greater and greater. That means f is increasing. If the y values are getting smaller and smaller, we say f is decreasing. So using that knowledge, let's see if we can understand this graph. So we're always gonna look at the x-axis. So if you look at from left to right, so starting from left to right, we want to see what's happening with the graph or the y values. So I see that, suppose this is negative infinity, and as you're traveling up to this point right here, what happens to your y value? So if you are standing right here, and you start to go up, and now you are right up here, and then you start to go up, 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 and then you stop right here. So that's where we are. So here you're going upward, so that means within that interval, that green interval, we're increasing. So we can say f is increasing along the x-axis on the interval starting from negative infinity because it's going to be keep uh, going in this direction, negative infinity, all the way to that number that's probably negative six. So it scales by three. So from negative six. So on that interval, this interval, our y values are getting larger. So it's increasing. And then if you just keep on going, um, so here, it looks like it's going downward. So that's not increasing, that's decreasing. So you start to fall. So in this interval, the graph is going down. And then once you hit this point right here, you start to go up again. So another interval of increasing, we can see that starting from here and all the way up to here because your y values are getting greater along that x-axis. So from zero all the way to this point right here, that's probably going to be six since it's scaled by three. So this is a three and a six. So that's another interval that's increasing. And then it looks like it starts to fall. So that'll be the decreasing interval. But if you keep going from here to positive infinity, it's going to be increasing. So if you're standing here, you start to go up again for all the way to infinity. So another interval of increasing would be from this point that's uh, scaled by three. So this would be nine, nine to infinity. So you can see that we're writing these open intervals because we're not including the endpoints because at the endpoints we have either a max or min or you're going to infinity or negative infinity. So we're just observing along the x-axis what's happening to the y values. If they're increasing, they're getting larger. If they're decreasing, they're getting smaller. 
So these are the intervals where it's increasing. Now let's erase these and figure out where is it that it's decreasing. So for decreasing, we will do the same thing. We'll look at along the x-axis and look at what's happening to the y-values. So if you start from here, because that's when we stop to increase. And on this interval right here, all the way up to that point, that's when it changes direction. This is all decreasing. So if you're standing here, you start to go down until you get to this point right here. So all of that interval along the x-axis, this is decreasing. So that would be, again, open negative six to zero. And then if you keep reading the graph from left to right, we seem to be decreasing again on this interval to that interval because our y values, when you're up here, is lower than here and here and here. It's just getting lower until we hit that point and then we start to increase again. So that interval would be, so this was three, six, nine. It will be six to nine. So that's where this graph is decreasing. So here's another uh, graph of, let's say this is our function y equals f of x. We want to know where is this function increasing and decreasing. So again, we will be looking from left to right and we want to know what's happening along the x-axis with the y values. Are they getting larger or smaller? So we're starting from left to right. So if you look at from this, so if you're standing here, it looks like you're going up until you hit this point. That's when you start to change direction. So we can say that on this interval, we are increasing. So from negative infinity to negative two, open. And then if you keep going from that interval all the way to the next interval, so from here to here, our graph, if you're standing here, it seems to be falling. So on that green interval, you are decreasing the y values. So therefore you're decreasing from negative two to one. And then from here, if you are standing here, let's put a person right here, you start to go up from that point. So all the way to infinity. So from here to here, we start to increase again, our values start to get larger. So from um, increasing from one to infinity. So there are two places we're increasing and there's only one place we're decreasing. So these are the intervals. Again, we're keeping them open because the endpoints we're going to have something called either a maximum or a minimum. We'll talk about them later. So here's our last example. We want to know if this is the graph of some function f of x, where is this function increasing and decreasing? So again, observe from left to right. So as you're going from left to right, there's no graph here. So there's no behavior until we get to the y-axis. And if you stand right here, you start to go up. So you see that you're continuously going up. There's no change in your behavior. So we can say from this interval, we're keep on increasing all the way to infinity. So starting at zero, of course, not at zero. So open, we are increasing all the way to infinity. And decreasing, well, there isn't any interval. So we can say, no, no, there is no interval for decreasing. So this function happens to be increasing all the time. All right, so I hope this helps. I'll see you next time.